Welcome to Easy and Natural, in today's video we are going to see a 3-step treatment to eliminate gastritis from your body and your life. You will learn what gastritis is and why it occurs. We will help you change your lifestyle and never have gastritis again. First of all, we will see what gastritis is. Gastritis is a general term for a group of diseases with one thing in common, inflammation of the stomach lining. It can be caused by a variety of agents, such as the ingestion of certain medications or infection by the bacterium Helicobacter pylori. It can cause significant discomfort, but in many cases it is asymptomatic. Gastritis may appear suddenly, called acute gastritis, or slowly over time, called chronic gastritis. In some cases, gastritis can lead to ulcers and an increased risk of stomach cancer. However, for most people, gastritis is not serious and gets better quickly with treatment. It is important before starting with the treatment that you know some of the causes that can produce gastritis. The causes that can provoke inflammation of the stomach lining are some drugs, such as acetylsalicylic acid, naproxen or ibuprofen. Infection of the stomach with Helicobacter pylori bacteria. Alcohol abuse or ingestion of corrosive substances, such as some type of poison. Ingestion of spicy foods. Cocaine consumption. Smoking. Bile reflux into the stomach or biliary reflux. Autoimmune disorders. Viral infection, especially in people with immune system deficiencies. Excessive stress, although it is not the most common, it can happen. It is also important that before starting any treatment, you can identify whether you have symptoms of gastritis or not. And here are some symptoms that may be a sign of gastritis for you to keep in mind. Although in many occasions this pathology does not present symptoms, people who suffer from it may experience the following discomfort. Heartburn. Abdominal pain. Nausea and vomiting. Stomach acidity. Aerophagia. Aerophagia occurs when a person swallows a lot of air that reaches the stomach. It causes bloating and frequent belching and may cause pain. Other symptoms of gastritis may include lack of hunger or loss of appetite, which can sometimes lead to weight loss. Black stools and vomiting blood, in case gastritis causes bleeding in the stomach lining. Now we will start talking about the three-stage treatment to cure your gastritis. First stage consists of some tips to improve your health that are really important for you to keep in mind to reduce gastritis. Number 1. Small portions of food. Our stomach acid production can be triggered by several factors, one of which is food. This is very important, so instead of eating fewer times a day with larger amounts of food, try to eat smaller amounts more frequently. So, for example, instead of having three meals a day, plan to have five to six small meals a day. This way you will always have something in your stomach to keep acid production busy. Number 2. Avoid eating food before bedtime. The body has something called a circadian rhythm, in common terminology it is what we all know as a biological clock. So, for thousands of years humans have adapted to eat during the day and rest during the night, so it's important to maintain the order of the body clock without disrupting it in any way. So, ideally we should eat before the sun goes down no later than 7 o'clock at night, and try to give yourself 3 to 4 hours before going to bed with food in your stomach. Number 3, Drink Enough Water Water seems to help control gastritis symptoms, so drink 6 to 8 glasses of water per day. This is very important. Drink a glass of water when symptoms appear in a glass at every meal, and when I say water I mean water and not liquids like milk, coffee, alcohol or any other liquid beverage, which can increase stomach acid production and cause ulcers. Number 4. Reduce Stress Stress can disrupt the release of stomach acid and elevate inflammation, but the worst part of it all is that it reduces immune function, which can make digestive problems worse. Why? Because let's not forget that Helicobacter pylori, which is one of the main causes of ulcer formation and gastritis in the stomach, has an advantage when immune function is low, so with ulcer formation and low immunity, you get chronic gastritis. Number 5. Quit smoking. If you have gastritis and you really want to treat it, you should stop smoking and decrease exposure to toxins. 
smoking and eating junk foods containing toxins are the main risk factors for developing ulcers and gastritis. Much research is showing that smoking decreases the healing of the stomach mucosa, and helps ulcer formation due to increased acid production by the stomach. In addition to this, it is more likely to develop infections. Now let's move on to the second stage of this treatment, but first remember that if you are liking the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. The second stage is supplements. Supplements are very useful for health, our body needs vitamins, minerals and herbs to help it function properly. Number 1 is Mastic Resin. A unique resin that comes from the tree, a tree that grows in the Mediterranean and has been used for centuries to improve digestion, oral health and liver. This resin contains antioxidants that have therapeutic properties, and help in many aspects of stomach health. For example, it is known to treat ulcers, fight Helicobacter pylori, and in many cases gastritis can even be cured by this herb. Studies have also shown that, mastic resin can be beneficial in people suffering from inflammatory bowel diseases, such as chronic irritable bowel diarrhea or even liver problems so remember it. Number 2 Licorice Root Today licorice root is recognized as an effective remedy against digestive inflammation, and is widely recommended by the scientific world to treat gastritis and ulcers. Licorice is a plant and its roots possess many properties that are precious for medicine. It is an anti-ulcer supplement. It has antitoxic properties, anti-inflammatory, and anti-allergic properties. Number 3 Ginger Ginger has one of the three most effective compounds for eliminating Helicobacter pylori, the other two herbs are nutmeg and rosemary. Ginger is known to treat digestive problems such as gastritis and acid reflux, nausea, motion sickness, and so on. And medical research suggests that ginger root is also effective in calming systemic inflammation in the body. Number 4 is the combination of vitamins and herbs. Some of the most effective vitamins against gastritis are vitamin C, vitamin B12 and foods containing a variety of vitamins for overall health. Look for a supplement containing omega-3. Now we will begin the third and final stage of this treatment. This part of the treatment is extremely important for anyone suffering from gastritis because it focuses on diet, the types of foods that a person ingests and may not know are harmful to their gastritis. Number 1 Coffee Today, many people with gastritis drink coffee every day and don't realize that they are making their symptoms worse. Coffee does not normally cause gastritis, but it can make it much more difficult to treat. It doesn't really matter if the coffee is decaffeinated or not. Either one worsens the symptoms. Coffee is acidic in nature and can increase the burning, stinging sensation, even make ulcers worse. Many people may wonder if they can't drink coffee, then what can I drink? Many studies show that the consumption of, for example, green tea or chamomile tea, is associated with a 40% lower risk of gastritis, because these two herbs have anti-inflammatory effects. So the recommendation would be to drink these, rather than coffee. Number 2, Grains and Wheat. Gluten-containing foods are often the culprit in gastritis, so eliminate these foods from your diet and try a one-month elimination diet. Number 3 Milk and Milk Products In the past, doctors used to tell patients to drink milk as part of the treatment for gastritis, to block the effects of acid and so on. But today it is known to be one of the triggers in gastritis, and milk and milk products can cause digestive problems. All of these stimulate the release of acids and can worsen the symptoms of gastritis. So stay away from anything that is milk and its derivatives. Number 4 Spicy Foods Irritation of our body causes a reaction. It's as simple as that. Spicy foods do not cause gastritis or ulcers, but the reaction that the body is causing is irritation, can worsen symptoms and increase acid production. Stay away from hot peppers, chili, red or black pepper, curry and hot sauces. All of these are very important to keep in mind. Number 5 Citrus Fruits, Citrus Juices and Tomatoes Citrus fruits such as oranges, lemons and limes or grapefruit, and vegetables, such as tomatoes, have a high acid content that in a normal situation are beneficial, especially if you want to do an alkaline diet. However, 
people with ulcers or gastritis should stay away from certain foods. Research suggests that citrus fruits and vegetables may trigger the release of chemical neurotransmitters that cause pain in people with stomach inflammation. Number 6 Allergens and Alcohol Avoid refined processed foods and alcohol. White breads, pasta, products with added sugar, dyes, refined vegetable oil, factory farmed meats. Trans fats in fried foods. In short, all of these can bring out food allergies and increase inflammation in the gut and make them more sensitive to infections. And finally, remember to listen to your body. It is important that you can recognize any symptoms and see a doctor if necessary. This treatment will help you to listen to your body, improve your habits, rediscover your organism. And above all, you will be able to improve some things, such as food. Try doing elimination diets of some of these foods, and you will know which is the one that makes you worse. We hope you liked the video, and that you find it really useful, and that you can put into practice this three-step treatment. If you liked the video, share it with your family and friends, subscribe to the channel and like it.